Have you ever thought about something like for a long time and <laughs> have you ever experienced something or or thought about something <laughs> that that you obsess over that you loved that that sh shook you to your core and then the next day like you, you can't stop thinking about that day like you or that thing and like or that person and it's like it comes running and in your mind over excuse me over excuse me over and over and over and over and uh and like and and it's just very like and it warps your brain into thinking that that's all you need <laughs> <laughs> and and to the point where like you're like worshiping it yeah that's a false idol so <laughs> well that's actually worship but if you if you're um worship if you're worshiping something that's not like if that's not of god basically anything that takes more time more time than God, that's false idol. That's false idol. And that's something that God does not like. And that's something that that uh, God does not like. That's God is a jealous God. God is a jealous God. And, um, and like, so, like, if it's video games, and don't want, and don't get me wrong, video games is good, right? But it's all done in moderation. You gotta do it in moderation. <laughs> And like, um, in moderation, as well as makeup, as well. Again, in moderation. Um, but if if that takes more time than praying and serving the Lord, then that's not good. Um, let me see here. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it says in Joshua twenty four fourteen through fifteen. It says, um, so fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols of your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone, but if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Who uh, would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live in now? Now live. But as for me, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Say, so, yeah, God wants you to put away all all the idols, all the things that doesn't <coughs> that doesn't that doesn't um, glorify God's kingdom. And I've been guilty of that. <coughs> Why well, put like, <laughs> why well, put like, relationships or video games or binge watching shows? Or... It's in the name too. Binge, binge, binge watching. <laughs> it's kind of like binge drinking, but that's so. But that's I know it's totally different, but it still has a the same binge. It has same it has, still has the same word binge in it. But that's neither the but that's neither here nor there. What but but God wants you to but God needs you to like worship him only. And like not have other gods before you before him. God wants you to not have any other gods before him. Because he is a just God as well. He is a pa yeah, sure, he's a patient and loving and and forgiving God, don't get me wrong, he is all those things, but some people forget that he is also a just God, and he is also a jealous God as well. And like, and if you, and like, <laughs> and it's not, and it's not something that should be taken lightly, either. I mean, like, God, God really wants you to, to, to have that conviction, you know, that, that God, that, conviction and hard to at least like look for him look to him you know for for guidance and next steps and stuff but but you know all those idols that you make that you create in your head because imagination is a powerful tool 
So, because the mind is a, the mind is a trap. <sighs> so, you always gotta, like, guard your heart and your mind and your spirit. Well, you just gotta guard your heart and your mind and, and just feed your spirit. Feed your spirit all things that are godly. And, um, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, it's pretty clear, plain and simple. I mean, I don't want to take too much, too much time on this, but I will say this. God, God knows the motives of your heart. And he does know, and he, do, and he knows, like, what you, what you spend more time on. And, like, what you watch, what you hang out with. What 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 do you do when you're alone? You know, he knows everything. So, might as well fess up to him before that before it's too late. For when the time comes and the trumpet sounds, man, you're gonna be you're gonna be the Bible says that all will bow before him when he comes. All will bow before him when he comes and. And so, and and if he says, "I'll oh, get away from me," I never knew you. That's a scary thought. So, so you want to make sure that he says, "Good work, my good and faithful servant." And you want to make sure he says that. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. So always make sure that, like, <laughs> that you have your heart ready. You be equipped and prepared for when Jesus comes, and to take away any any uh, false teachings or any idols, and stay away from false teachers too, because that because that's a whole nother can of worms too that I won't get into right now, but uh, maybe for a separate video. But yeah, um, that's it for me. So. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just so make sure you like, subscribe, share, and all that, all that good stuff. And uh, and I'll see you guys in a nice video. So, so stay stay encouraged and encourage each other as well. And uh, yeah, and keep on shining. <laughs>